All right, everyone, we start off today talking about the microplastic menace. There's a fairly simple solution to most of the problem. It's just it requires a great deal of will and effort to actually implement it. This is the problem with domestic policy. Things move very slowly. Link in the description, archive, of course, yet another study showing, yes, indeed, microplastics concentrating in certain areas are beginning to cause health issues among certain species some of them more than others. Uh, they've been linked to neurodegeneration in humans as well. This is a menace to society. Also, the existence of plastic at this point appears to violate the non-aggression principle, actually. If somebody owns in before you say, well, sticks, you don't sound very libertarian, that's sort of like the gun debate. No. If somebody owns a gun, it does not necessarily shoot me. But if somebody tosses plastic in a landfill and it leaches into the ecosystem, some of those particles are going to become part of my body. And part of the body of the things that I want to eat, then I absorb them, and they become part of my body. Whether it's vegetative life or animal life makes little difference. There's a real easy suggestion that I have in mind to sort of clear up the, the situation. We have trillions of pounds of plastic at this point, you know, slowly rotting in landfills. It takes several thousand years, so it'll be a while. Uh, and unfortunately, that means that we've left last lasting damage for future generations, you know, going on down for quite some centuries. We can get rid of it, though. Step one, we need to eliminate the usage of plastics insofar as we can. I actually support, and I say this again as a classical liberal who, generally speaking, just wants to do whatever he wants to do. We can eliminate plastic packaging. Some states have already taken steps towards that. Some corporations have already voluntarily begun to do that. I know that Yumbo does that, for example, in the Netherlands. Um, we can eliminate the usage of plastic bags, which are basically urban tumbleweeds at this point, and mandate the use of paper or cloth bags. Uh, some people say, well, the paper bags tear too easily. Well, they can be made better. Then they're biodegradable. They're also reusable. And if they do get broken uh, in some way, well, what did it cost? Two cents or something like that. Not really a terrible burden above the plastic bag. By the way, most plastic bags rip easily too, and they're not highly reusable unless you double bag and you're not carrying anything particularly heavy or pointy. That's step number one. We need to return to recycle, reuse, and reduce as opposed to just recycle. It's hard to recycle plastics anyway. Speaking of which, I have another suggestion for the plastic that's rotting in landfills and littering the streets and shouldn't be, in general, produced in the first place. Take them. Build a series of waste-to-energy incineration systems and annihilate the microplastics by simply burning them and using them as fuel. We have this technology. We've had it for 50 years. We're capable of doing that. We could have sort of mega centers uh, in various regions of the country that could supply power real cheap actually you simply tell people hey you know you bring your plastic in we dump in the incinerator we pay you a small stipend that'll incentivize that and then you start digging out the landfills because all the biodegradable stuff in the landfills well that's already pretty much degraded into nothingness anyway and you can take the plastic out sort it I'm sure that there's some AI-driven methodology that you could use for this purpose, and then you dump it in the incinerator and slowly clear out the landfills in the country. When you're recycling and reusing and reducing, things are better. That's the other part. Educational campaign, right? Educational campaign to tell people, hey, you know that glass bottle that you just used? You can clean that out and use it as a cup now. Don't need to buy more plastic cups and shit like that. Use bell jars and shit like that. You know, canning jars make good cups. Half the cups that are uh, at the uh, little uh, uh, house in the Netherlands, I think more than half of them are just cleaned out jars. They work just fine. You can even put handles on them if you want to. Mm. Coffee. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, you can use those. Um, you can reuse, you know, glass bottles like from your Snapple tea or something like that and just refill them. 
bring back refilling stations, you know, for water in uh, airports and shit like that. And some of them have more or less eliminated them. And I don't think that you want the water from the faucet in an airport. It's probably a bad idea. If you had watering stations and stuff like that, well, uh, there's a significant amount of plastic reduction right there. Since it is causing health issues in animals, plants, and humans, since it is now littering the entire world, we would need a U.S. response first. That's a good start. When other countries see that it's used as an energy source and that it's possible to do this, the hope is that it incentivizes other countries to do the same. Um, you can use it for energy. I mean, we've piled up plastic in landfills and shit like that for you know, 70 years now, basically. Um, well, that's a lot of energy that's being stored right in the ground. It's basically like finding a nice little oil well. Companies will be incentivized to come in and clear out the landfills, mine the plastic, quite literally, the biodegradables. Yeah, it's not a big deal. That's not causing any harm. And you're not going to get all of the plastic. Uh, the microplastic menace will remain for thousands of years. But we need to nip it in the bud now, and we need action, not talk. I see all of these studies mounting up over the last few years saying, well, micro and nanoparticles are clogging up your neurons, they're starting to cause sickness in animals and deformities and stuff like that. Well, then fucking take care of the problem. It's not necessary to wait. In fact, that's a terrible idea. With every day that passes, more plastic is being created, and more plastic components, and more plastic is being dumped in landfills and being absorbed by the biological community that we call Earth. As uh, time moves on, it will get worse and worse unless we do something drastic and immediately. This is actual environmentalism. This is not nimbyism. No, it's not going to be nice to have the waste energy incinerator in your locale, although it'll provide cheap energy, so you shouldn't complain too much. And regulations and zoning and all of these other things would be an impediment to actually solving the problem in the first place. Just like uh, housing authorities will ban front yard gardening. You could have row after row of beautiful flowers for the butterflies and the bees and shit like that, but they're not allowed to plant them. And then they're forced to uh, use pesticides and shit like that. There's all sorts of crazy laws out there that most people in you know, semi-rural America, which is where I'm from, don't really know about. We don't have that sort of thing generally in Vermont, although they're trying to create a rental caste system there too. And so I would say this is something that needs to be tackled fairly quickly because every single study on the topic shows that there is health damage and environmental degradation. That affects every one of us. It violates the NAP. That's about all. Peace out.